back to my channel it is Brittany so I have another U part wig for you guys it's actually like a repurchase because it's the same wig that I have shown on my shorts on my Instagram reels and on my TikTok from Outre's big beautiful hair collection this is their Dominican blowout 22 inch so I have already showed you guys uh, the color number two but I haven't shown, I haven't had like a full review on my channel. I have a short in, you know, all of the other short form uh, videos, but I don't have a long form video for you guys. So I'm going to do that in this video. I have the black one in its packaging, but I'm going to show you guys a different color because I've already mentioned this one, uh, the number two, several times on my channel. But I love the number two. It does come with clip combs, like the snap combs, which is kind of dangerous if you wear it every day, but it's way more secure than regular combs. So it's definitely a pro and a con. If you watch my free tress U part wigs that I recently did with the bob length that was 14 inches and the 28 inches, spoiler alert, I love those, adore them. But first of all, they're hard to find. They're already sold out. Um, and two, they have like regular combs. So I love them and give them a 10, but the combs are not as secure. You probably want to put like an anchor braid around your, your leave out so you can put those combs in there a little bit easier. But the snap combs that come with this is a lot more dangerous. So the color that I have is DR Chai Latte and I wanted to get it because it has color but it has a dark root so it doesn't, it won't look like weird, you know, with my hair. So I've been telling you guys, I've been enjoying wigs that require some leave out just because they look more natural. Um, not to say, that my synthetic wigs or my human hair wigs don't look natural. Some of them look better than others and some all lace is not created equal. Some of my synthetic wigs, the lace on them, like Butter Lace 8 for example, looks amazing outside and in all lighting situations. But I have had some wigs that look terrible. Uh, the lace looks good inside but looks terrible outside. So it's really tricky with lace wigs and I see why people kind of stay away from them, but it all depends on the wig. But I've had, you'll probably have, um, but then again, you part wigs aren't for everybody because if you suffer from hair loss or you have a smaller head, these can be annoying because from all the you part wigs I've tried recently, all of them are extremely big and they all require additional security with bobby pins. So, you know, keep that in mind. And I'm starting off without makeup because if I do baby hairs, I don't want my foundation to get mixed in there. Ooh, this is pretty blonde. I'm not a blonde girl, but hopefully it looks good. We'll see. So this is the DR Chai Latte color. Um, yeah, it's a lot more blonde than I was expecting, but I wanted to take a chance and buy this because I didn't see anybody with this particular color on YouTube or on the Amazon uh, reviews. So... It has those snap combs. They are, they can be very damaging to your hair. So you probably don't want to use them every single day. I'm trying to, you know, reiterate that. But they are more secure than just regular combs. It does come with clear string in there just to keep the shape of the wig until you're ready to wear it. So you have to cut those out. You have another comb in the back and adjustable straps. And it has like a mesh cap in the back. So I'm going to cut those out. I'm going to cut those out. I think I can pull this off still. Okay, so the dark root on this looks like a 1B. My natural hair is a number two. So hopefully this still works. For my natural hair, I like to go with a natural brown. I purchased the natural black and I still actually have it. And I'll probably do a giveaway with that in, um, probably in March because that'll be my 10 year anniversary on YouTube. I'll be doing giveaways for you guys. But, um, yeah, the natural black is like a jet black, so that doesn't work with my number two hair, but uh, natural brown works. Hopefully, I can get away with that, but it is darker than my hair, so. I already have my natural hair, uh, like, somewhat prepared, but, you know, when you take a shower and stuff without a, anything on there, my hair is already reverting, so I'll have to add some heat to it. But I have some braids in the back, like five in the back. And I'm going to put a bobby pin back there. Let's go ahead and put the back comb in. Snap that in. This is definitely more secure than the free tress ones, but yeah. I couldn't wear this every day because I know it would mess up my hair. 
Nice color. This reminds me so much of, uh, the texture reminds me of Outre Nisha, the OG one. For this one anyway, the black one that I have, the number two, is more sleek than this one. It's a nice color. I'm just, you know, I like black. I like just straight natural black, but I think this will be cute once I pull the look together with makeup and flat iron in my hair and everything. So even though I have a large head, it's like all of the U-part wigs I've tried have been extremely large. So regardless of your head size, small or not, it's going to be huge. So you're going to have to add some more security with bobby pins. Even with the snap combs being secure up here, back here is where it's going to be huge. So Con Air hot comb that I picked up from Target. Um, I don't think this is on Amazon, but I do have an affiliate link to where you can purchase this in the comments in the description box. I was using the Andis hot comb for years and mine just randomly stopped working last year. So I picked this one up. Oh, this is, is this heat safe? It says this is human hair premium blend, but I feel like this is just a synthetic wig. So it doesn't have any heat limits on here. It doesn't say at all. So you gotta be careful. My um, Freetra's ones can be, um, have heat on it up to 400 degrees. And I have this on 350, so. And this is gonna be a lot more widely available than the free tress one. And always, I've been saying this in every video, you can, you don't have to use edge control if you don't want to, cause I'm gonna speed through this cause uh, this is gonna take a little bit, not too long, but. makeup and everything now it's not gonna blend as well as if you just got one natural your natural color but because it has a dark root it still blends pretty well it might it's gonna look differently depending on how long your hair is if your hair is shorter than mine it, it's probably gonna match up very well with the dark root here but mine is a little bit longer and if you have longer hair you'll just have to mix that in I don't know how that's gonna look if you have longer hair but with mine, this is what it looks like in all angles before I do any changes to it. I want to show you guys before I do any changes to it. I don't know what it looks like back there. I have no idea. It could look terrible, but this is what the length looks like. It's 22 inches and I'm 6 feet tall. I think the color is pretty. It just doesn't blend as well as having the natural brown that I got but I'm gonna make it work still. So that's how it looks all out. Just showing you guys how that looks. I'm gonna put a little bit of edge control on there and then I'm gonna do my makeup off camera and show you guys the finished look. Thank you. 
I'm back and let's get into how I feel about this particular color with the Dominican Blowout 22 inch. So cons about this, depending on how long your hair is, it's gonna give you a, a different effect. Let's say your hair is like down here. It's gonna be a different, a whole different look than what my hair looks like. So if your hair is super like shorter up here, it's probably gonna make a little bit more sense because the roots up here, my hair is like a medium length. So it does blend in and give like an ombre look, but just to have it out like that is a little bit too, I mean, it works. It works for sure, so you can do that if you want to, but I like to wear mine behind my ear, and I feel like it kind of camouflages any harsh blends with this U-Part wig in this color. It looks really good, though. So keep that in mind, and it's going to be a little bit easier to see when your uh, leave-out doesn't blend as well, but this is a great coarse kinky straight texture so it's blending with my natural hair i do have type 4 hair i don't have a relaxer or anything like that i just have i just flat ironed my hair so it blends very well with my natural hair even with this color so this is really pretty i feel very comfortable in this and with this color this color is nice i definitely prefer the natural brown color because it's just easier to blend and you don't have to worry about anything but this isn't hard either. This isn't that hard either, especially if you want a different change. You have dark hair like me and you want a little bit of color, maybe for spring, summer, or just in general, this is a great alternative. And I certainly hope that companies start to do a lot more U-Part wigs because I feel like it's not just me who, you know, wants to do U-Part wigs. I think a lot of people, even people who are very experienced with lace, they kind of want to have the option of having more U-part wigs, certainly synthetic ones. So you can get a sew-in type look like this for under $30, depending on where you shop. Of course, I am going to promote my Amazon affiliate links because the wig websites are not paying me, but I have a general link in the description box. You guys want to shop on other websites as well, but these are widely available still, especially in this color because I haven't seen anybody review this and that's why I picked it up just so I could see what the color looked like. I thought it was going to be a little bit more toned down, but you guys know how I feel about blonde. This is not too like crazy. This is still a blonde I would wear. I like more warm tone blondes like this. Or I like um, the blonde that Outre Marissa comes in. That's a beautiful blonde too. So I think this looks good as far as tangling and shedding. No shedding, but I do have some tangling with this wig and I haven't done that much with it. So expect that. I'm pretty sure this wig is under $30 and I just think this is a really natural look. Um, that's going to give sew-in or human hair. It just looks very natural. People were asking me, do I like this one more than the free dress one and vice versa? I like them both, um, but this one has curls and layers in it. And I actually like how sleek the 28 inch one was without any curls or anything. Um, but I do like this one too. I feel like this is a coarser texture, so it's probably going to be easier to hide uh, or like blend your leave out because eventually... Let's say it's raining outside or it's very humid, your hair is going to revert. And so I feel like because this is a coarser texture, your hair is going to still blend with it for a while. So if you guys are interested in this wig, I'll have my Amazon affiliate link in the description box. And if you shop through my Amazon affiliate link, I will get a small commission. Shout out to everybody who continues to support my channel with supporting my affiliate links. I really do appreciate that. Uh, tell me if you know of any other synthetic um u-part wigs that are out there so far i've only tried these two uh no these three i've tried the free tress 14 inch one the 28 inch one and this one here don't really want to do curly ones like i said in my favorite wigs of 2022 i would love a u-part wig that is synthetic that looks like a donna with some uh barrel curls in it oh my gosh somebody needs to get on that um, I don't want to have to cut up mine to try to, to make one, but um, I'm sure somebody will come out with it if there's like a big demand for synthetic uh, U-Part wigs. And I feel like it's probably going to catch on and it's going to be a lot more of those because, you know, V-Part wigs were popular, but most of those are human hair wigs and stuff like that. So I am feeling the U-Part wigs. The only thing is I would recommend you not wearing them every single day because 
just like with wearing any combs on a, on a wig, it's going to eventually pull your hair out and thin your edges or thin out anywhere those combs are located on the wig. It's going to start to thin out your hair in those spots. So rotate it out with other wigs and headband wigs and stuff like that just so you don't start to lose your hair because you are wearing the U-part wigs too much. So um, I already gave, I think I gave the other one like a 9 and a half, 10. Um, this particular color, I'll, I'll give it a nine. I, the only thing is, like I said, if you have, depending on how long your hair is and it, if it's this dark, it's just going to look different on everybody because if you have long hair, it's going to be all the way down here. And then if you have shorter hair, it's going to be closer to the root. So it's going to look different on everybody, but if you get a solid color, it's going to, you know, blend easier and look more natural. So it just depends, but I wanted to come and show you guys a different color because so far I've done only natural color U-part wigs, but this one, I think this is pretty too. Very pretty. I'm, I feel like I'm giving summer with this look. So if you're interested in this wig, like I said, everything's down in the description box. Follow me on all of my social media platforms, including Facebook at the Hearts and Cake 90 on Facebook, because I realize I don't like interact with my community on Facebook that much, but I'm trying to do that more often. Of course, follow me on Instagram and TikTok at iFancyCupcakes. And I will see you guys in the next video. Bye, guys.